City's Gay Men's Chorus is collaborating with another choir for a very special performance. Yes, it's part of their spring concert. It is called Hand in Hand. We're going to hear more about this collaboration right after the chorus sings us to break. Brothers, all raise our voices proud, sing of the world made free. Hear our call, echo it clear and loud, forging new harmony. Greet the glow of freedom's dawn, brothers in song sing on. We're back with Twin Cities Gay Men's Chorus and Ben Briggs, the artistic director. That was beautiful. I Thank love you. when you guys come in here and say, you've got a beautiful new spring concert coming up and you're actually doing something you haven't done in 20 years. Yes, we are uh, collaborating with another Gay Men's Chorus, the Heartland Men's Chorus from Kansas City. Uh, we actually took a whole group down to Kansas City a week and a half ago to sing at their concerts and they're doing the same. They're coming up and joining us for our concerts this weekend. Hence the name Hand in Hand Hand for in this hand. series. How did this come about? Whose idea was this? Uh, I think we had uh, it was multiple people with the idea, but we all got to perform together in Denver last summer for the large oh. Gala Choruses Festival, and it just sort of sprung out of that. We love being in community and singing together. What is it like when you take one group who, you know, practices, they perform mm. together, and then you have to kind of mesh and find chemistry with a new one? Ah, well, it's it's easier than you think, actually, okay. because uh, we, we try to be as communicative as possible when we're preparing the choruses, uh, but then, you know, different conductors have different uh, interpretations of the music, and so we just train the guys to follow mm -hmm. uh, as best they can. It's hard because we know they just want to do what you want them to do. Exactly. Right? Yes. <laughs> that's what we work right. for. Yeah, that's exactly. <laughs> uh, you have a really special piece uh, for this performance uh, called Tyler Sweet. Yes. Tell us about it. Tyler that. Sweet was inspired by, uh, it's inspired by the memory of Tyler Clementi, who was a young man who uh, committed suicide. This was a few years ago following uh, a really terrible tragedy of some cyber harassment. Mm. Uh, he was uh, filmed and live streamed uh, by his uh, freshman roommate at Rutgers University mm -hmm. uh, in, a, in an intimate moment and then uh, the harassment that came from the community drove him to this and uh, this piece remembers his life remembers uh, w the things that we have learned from what happened mm -hmm. to Tyler uh, and the Tyler Clementi Foundation was established by Tyler's parents uh, who are promoting this piece in order to just encourage people to stand up mm -hmm. to any kind of bullying behavior whether it's at home or at school sure. or in the yeah. office mm -hmm. that's incredible not here I'm sure not no here. never no, here no, no, but no. what other music will you be, will you be performing um, we have a set of other sort of community uh, pieces uh, one of which we're going to sing for you in a little bit called kin which is really just about uh, welcoming everybody to uh, our community wherever they came from however long it took them to get there that we have a place for them well the Twin Cities gay men's chorus will perform hand in hand this Friday and Saturday it's gonna be at the Ted Mann concert hall which is a great place to perform and to see a show 8 p.m. Uh, that's right on the University of Minnesota campus WCCO.com slash links we have all the ticket information for you and we'll hear that song yes in just a minute after Kylie tells us uh, it's gonna be a beautiful beautiful Friday and Saturday it to come out to the show for amazing. sure <laughs> today's gay men's chorus will be in concert mm -hmm. Friday and Saturday night the University of Minnesota hand in hand with a choir from Kansas City here they are performing kin you are all
in the small 